Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black for this a little bit of a fantasy discussion sort of video because today I'm thinking about 10 things that could happen at Wolverhampton Wanderers in the next 10 years. <laughs> Now obviously, take a lot of these with a big pinch of salt, I'm just speculating as to the sort of thing that we could expect to see at Wolves. I'm not saying that there's any truth behind any of these, or that I think that any of these could actually happen, I'm just a bit of fun. The first thing I've got on my list is that Wolves will have a regular England international. Now, the way that the England team works nowadays is that they seem to promote players through the system, through the under-17s and under-21s. So Wolves have got Corny Hawes and, of course, Morgan Gibbs-White, who are mainstays in those two teams. So that's not beyond the realms of possibility. And also, the, what we've seen of Morgan Gibbs-White so far this season is tremendous and he really is an exciting prospect. And I can't wait to see how he develops as a player. It's also possible that if Wolves were to get promoted this season, players like John Ruddy or Connor Cody could perhaps come into consideration for an England squad. The second thing on my list is something that I touched on a couple of weeks ago, is Wolves could move away from Molyneux. I think with Fosun's ambition to be a global brand, moving away from Molyneux into a new super stadium, a modern st stadium with perhaps a roof or a sliding pitch like they've seen at Tottenham, something like that to take Wolves to the next level could happen. And then as a result, my third thing on the list is Wolves will have a average attendance of 40,000 plus in the next 10 years. I think we're not far away from that as it is. We've got at the moment in the championship, our average attendance this season is around about 25, 26,000 with a capacity of 31,000. So there's the potential there to develop Molyneux to be 40,000, but then to have an average attendance of 40,000, you need to be in the Premier League and have big away followings to come to your ground as well. The next two items on my list are both George Mendes related. First of all, Jose Mourinho to be the Wolves manager at some point in the next 10 years. With Jose not staying at places for too long, could Wolves' rise to European football coincide with the end of his time at Manchester United in a couple of years? And number five on the list is Cristiano Ronaldo as a Wolves player. He's 33 at the moment. He's a George Mendes client. He obviously wants to be a manager with what he's shown, you know, his understanding of football and how he acted during the European Championship Finals in 2016. Could he end his career at Wolves and then seamlessly go in to be the manager, possibly after a Jose Mourinho era? Number six on my list is that Wolves will spend £100 million on a player. They've spent nearly £16 million on Ruben Neves last summer. What we'll be spending in the summer is still yet to be seen, but we could see a signing of £20 to £30 million next summer. And then the way that the transfer market is going and the bottomless pit of money that we seem to have under Fosun, it's not beyond the realms of possibility for Wolves to be spending £100 million in a few years for a football player. And of course, with things like increased TV revenue, we could see Fosun starting to sponsor the club like we've seen at Manchester City to get around for financial fair play. So there's going to be an enormous amount of money to spend in the next few years at Wolves. Number seven on my list is for Wolves to win a trophy. And hopefully, I hope the FA Cup, but to be honest, any trophy would do me because we haven't won anything since 1980 when we won the League Cup against Nottingham Forest. And we haven't won the FA Cup since 1960. We haven't got to an FA Cup semi-final for 20 years now, 1998 against Arsenal. And we've lacked real competition in those big trophies. And hopefully in the next 10 years, we'll see Wolves winning something again. The number eight on my list is for Wolves to achieve consistent European football. Now, whether this be in the Europa League or in the Champions League, I think in the next 10 years, Wolves will have had one season in, the, in Europe somewhere. And I can't wait to be able to see Wolves play against some really top teams and it's almost where we belong if you look back to the 1950s and the start of European football and European competitions. Wolves have influenced football in a massive way but just haven't been able to maintain their position at the top table for very long. Number nine on my list is for Wolves to win the Premier League. Now this is something that I think is a long, really, really long shot because we're so far away from that at the moment really. Although we've got the, some great players and we've got great business structure and we've got everything in place and we've got a good stadium, what, everything. It just takes a lot to win the Premier League. We've seen that there's only a small group of teams who have won it and from where we are now, is it beyond the realms of possibility for us to win the Premier League in the next 10 years? 
it's difficult to tell at the moment. We're still very early on in the Foson era. It's obviously the aim of Foson to be challenging for trophies and challenging for titles in the foreseeable future. We've seen teams like Manchester City and Chelsea take a couple of years since their takeovers to go and challenge at the top of the table. We're obviously quite a way behind that, but we've there are now blueprints from those two teams as to how to build success and hopefully we can learn from mistakes that they've made and possibly do it faster. And number 10, the final thing on my list is that every body will hate Wolves. We've got the potential to be an enormous club. We've got the fan base, we've got the history, we've got the money, we've got the infrastructure to become a huge club. And Manchester United fans are already getting rolled up on Twitter because we're stealing some of their, you know, what they used to do, take young players from Europe and put them into their academies and build them up. And other teams get jealous of success. And I think that over the next 10 years, Wolves will experience some success. So that's the end of my list of 10 things that could happen at Molyneux in the next 10 years. Some of them very fantastical and some of them fairly maybe accurate. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And why not share it with all of your Wolves mates? See you next time.